Hello there, and welcome to day 11 of our 30 day live video challenge. And I hope everyone's doing well this evening. I'm just gonna give it a second or two, not very long, and say hello as people are getting on. All right, so today I'm gonna give you a bracelet tutorial and we are going to be playing with a two hole bead. I it's called an iris duo. So here's the bead. It's um two holes. Let me pick that up better. So there you go. It's a two hole bead and it's flat on the back side. So that's the back. It's completely flat and it's rounded on the top side. So today I have a bracelet tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet using these two hole iris dual beads. So that's the shape of the bead. It's kind of, it's like one of the newer beads by Potomac Bead Company. And so we're going to be using four millimeter fire polish along with the iris duos. Um, the iris duos are uh, seven by four millimeters is their size and I have my 11s over here and these are Toho's number 176B and of course so if you're just joining me play, um, say hello and so today as I said I'm going to show you how to play with some iris duo beads and what we are going to do is first off you'll need a stopper bead on your thread. I'm using Wildfire Thread 0 0.006 and you're going to pick up. So the first bead you pick up you're going to go into, so if we're looking, the bead is facing down this way. You're going to be in the left hole of this first one and then the right hole of the next one. like so. And then we are going to go into the left hole. Like so. So you're building it up. Right hole. And our last one, you're going to put it in the left hole. So this is what you're going to do. Then you're going to take three of these 11s and you're going to switch and go into the other hole here, but just like that. And then we're going to fill in on the side. So what you want to do is pick up another iris tool and you're going to go you want to set it so it fits in through there. So this is the left hole that I'm going into, like so. And then you go into the next hole here on this one so you're not adding a bead anymore. There you go. So you guys can see what I'm doing there. And you're going to add another one here and you're going to connect that into this one, first one here. And there you have it. This is what you're going to get so far. You want to make sure that this is nice and secure. So we'll just give the, the threads a good tug. And now what you're going to do is pick up three of our 11s. And you're going to go back through the other hole over here. So it's right underneath the stopper bead that I've got. And just go through the two beads. And that's what you're going to get. Now we're going to make our way all the way back up over here. So you're just going to go through these next three, um, 
iris jewel beads. And through the 11s, All right, for the next step, you're gonna take three 11s and you're gonna go into this outer iris jewel. Oh, wow, have fun, Kathy. See you uh, later, or enjoy, enjoy the, enjoy the game. We're gonna add our four millimeter bead here. And like so. Pick up three of our 11s and go through the um, 11s that are already here on the Iris Duo. And through this last 11. Now you're gonna pick up three more. Go on into the outer hole of this one. Then we're gonna add in our four millimeter fire polish here. Like so, and we are gonna take our three 11s and connect through just three of the 11s here. So this is what you get. So this is our first little unit complete. And now to make the next unit, what you're gonna do is pick up three 11s. And you just go through those central three 11s that are already on this here. So there's a total of nine beads here and you just wanna go through those three. Oh, you're welcome, Michaela. Thanks for watching. And this is what you're doing. And go down into those three. Just like so. And pick up three more. And go back through those last three. So we are doing, um, again, ladder stitch as our little connector here. And back up these three. Like so. And I'm going to put this down for a second. So we are going to now add our beads. So pick up your iris duo here this way. So you're going to go in the right hole is what I have here. Then so what you want to do is go left and then right. left on this one and right on this one like so so this is what you want to end up with you're picking up five beads and bring that down and don't worry this is gonna I will fix this in just a second if these beads all flip over this is what you're gonna get make sure you guys can see that and I'm in the center and then pick up three 11s you guys are all really, really quiet. I know there's a bunch of people watching. <laughs> Feel free to say hello. And it's the whole point of doing live videos is so you guys can all chat and we can chat together. Go into the next hole over here. That's what you're gonna get. So we're just building this back up. And now we add in the next set of iris duo. So this one goes into the middle one, the middle iris duo here. Hi, Maria. Hola, Maria. And, oops, sorry. There. And we're going to add one more of our iris duos here and we go into this first iris duo. Alright, come on bead, straighten out here. There we go. So now 
you just want to connect up with our seed beads here on this other side just like that now we're going to go outside oh you are very welcome maria thanks for watching so pick up three of the 11s and you go into this outer iris joe here see where the eye open we have an open hole there hey norma like so pick up the fire polish that's going to go here pick up three of our 11s and we are going to connect to the three 11s that are over here tail out of the way there okay let's put this down so you guys can see so picked up three and I went through these three elevens now I'm gonna pick up three more go into this next one here then the fire polish Now three elevens, and you want to connect to the elevens that are over here. And there we have it. There's our second unit, and you just make your way down towards the elevens on this side. So we're gonna continue on and make more units now. So what you want to do again, you're going to have nine 11s here. So you want to come out of the, th the three central um, 11s here. So I'm going to go through this one here. And we're going to do exactly what we did here. So if you missed it, it's a ladder stitch is what our connection points are here. So I'm going to pick up three 11s and I'm just going to work with just the three 11s here in the middle of this group here so so those are the three in the center and then back up this new group and we add pick up three more and we're adding so you end up with this and you come out of these like so and then we start again with the iris duo here and you'll be picking up actually you'll be going into the left hole this time around and then you would build from there. So you would go back and start doing what I showed you where you pick up those five. So because I want to show you a full complete bracelet, I am going to switch to a piece that I already started a little bit earlier and it's further along. So let me just move this out of the way. And oops, there we go. Hey Carol. So this piece, I went ahead and basically continued, but I'm going to show one more unit. So I'm going to show you guys again one more time how to how to make one more. So I made a total of five. I need six units, and then I'm going to show you how to add the um, the loops. All right. So I'm coming out of my seed bead here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my three to make the connection oh, there we go yeah those are the right three and One, 
two, three. Oh, hi, Tammy. Good to see you. Did you have fun playing in the snow yesterday? And I'm adding three more. Like so, and then you want to come out of these here. All right, so now we're gonna add one more unit here. So let me show you how that's done. So you wanna go into the left hole of your iris duo, then the right hole, and the left hole, Awesome, so I'm so glad you're here. And all right, let's see, I'm getting myself mixed up here. Going into the right and the left, sorry about that guys. The right, the left, and the right. So I want it to come around this way and that's this is the way to work because I'm coming out of the seed beads in this direction. So I'm coming out of them in the right direction. If it was coming out of the um, seed beads in the left direction, then you would have, you would starting in the opposite side. That's all. All right, now that these guys have all flipped, and uh, we pick up three. of our 11s. Good, I'm glad it's making sense because I, I was worried I was confusing everybody. Um, all right, so you got your three. We're gonna go into the other hole of this iris duo here. Like so, and then we fill in the two gaps with iris duo. So this iris duo is going to fit in right here. And this other one is going to go here. All right, there we have it. And now you wanna go in through these seed beads to connect the other side of this iris duo to the seed beads. Like so. And I'm just gonna turn this over. Now you pick up three. Go into this part of the iris duo. And try not to get your thread wrapped around. Like so. Pick up a fire polish. So these are four millimeter fire polish if you joined late. Like so. And three elevens. And we're gonna, I'm just going through these 11s here. Yes, these iris duos are flat on one side and they're sort of rounded on um, the top. So kind of kind of like the diamond duos that are, that have a little bit of shape. So, so here's an up close. So these are the, this is the top side and then that's the, the flat side, the back. Oh, hi Norma. All right. And sorry guys, here we go. 
trying to make sure the bracelet isn't getting all tangled up. And I'm going through those C beads here. Now I'm going to pick up three more of my 11s and I'm going to go in this outer hole of the Iris Duo. Pick up four mil my four millimeter fire polish, go into this outer one here to the Iris Duo. And the last part is our three seed beads. So take your needle and go through these. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I thought I saw you earlier. All right, so you wanna make your way down all the way to these seed beads. And I'm just going through the beads here. Just like so. And I want to come out of the center three. So we're still going to work with the center three, but this time I'm going to show you guys how to make the loop. Alright, so now I'm coming out of the middle third, three rather, and I'm going to pick up six of my 11s. So that's four, five, six, and then I'm just going to go through those three central ones and make myself a little loop. There's my little loop. And I'm going to go ahead and reinforce that. And then back through. So I might do this one more time just to make sure I get a nice strong loop and it's not going to fall apart. I am using um, Wildfire Thread 0 .006 and I'm using the gray. So I think it looks gray there. Can you guys see that? Is it gray? And these seed beads are now gotten pretty tight. I've gone through those quite a few times. So this is the last time I'm going to go through them. And now I'm going to go Yeah, this is um <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Denise. Yes, I think you'll like this pattern, Norma, so definitely watch the replay. So by the way, I forget to mention that. So if you see the red button or the red box here that says live, that means you're watching me live. If you don't see that and you're watching it later on, that means that you're watching a recorded version. So if you don't hear me um, replying to your comments, it's because I no longer see them. I'm not actually um, doing anything live, so that's all. But I do true I do get notifications on comments and I do try to reply back um, in written form as opposed to just verbally answering you. So I just did a half inch knot between my 11 and the iris duo there. And you do another half inch over here. Whoops, let's go through that. And I'm actually gonna do another one on the other side of this fire polish. All right, I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the, oh, there's the hole. So that's one side and I'm ready to trim.
Um, I would say try it with, um, you can try it with Super Duos or um, it doesn't have to be Iris Duos. You might want to try it with um, Diamond Duos or Gem Duos if you have those. These are, uh, the size of these are um, 7 by 4 millimeters. So if you do it with Super Duos, which are a little bit smaller, so let me show you, um, compare, show you the size comparison between the two. Um, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Small workspace. And there we go. I knocked over the camera. Uh, yeah, I love my scissors. Anyway, sorry about that. This is what you get when you get live <laughs> live videos. Um, you get the clumsiness of us, of me. Anyway, so here is a Super Duo and there's the Iris Duo. So the Super Duo is quite a bit smaller. So you'll just have to, you might have to use less seed beads um, than what I used over here. So you might have to only, instead of using multiples of three like I did here, you might be using multiples of two and it'll it'll definitely be a, a smaller um, piece because it's I think these are two by five is the size of a super dual bead two and a half two by five millimeters versus seven by four so there is a big difference there um, in terms of the size so you might have to play with it but you never know or you know what I would recommend is maybe trying it with like um, a tila even if you got her a half tila all right, so I got the loop done on one side and you would pretty much do the same thing on this side. So I pulled out my stopper bead and you would just basically pick up your six 11s and we would go through the middle three beads here, the middle three seed beads in this group of nine. Just like that and then reinforce oh thank you so much Norma yeah and it actually builds very quickly so that you can get this done in probably an hour or so this is not going to be a super long um, bracelet project so definitely in one evening, you can make them up. And so I went around the beads three times and now I'm just gonna tie off. So just doing half inch knots to tie off. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one at two knots because this one should be a lot more secure. And, all right, let's get these beads out of the way. And there's the bracelet. So what I'm gonna do is probably add in a lobster claw. I forgot to grab some jump rings earlier, but I'm just gonna put in a lobster claw like this one here and with a jump ring here and a jump ring on the other side. So, but there's my live for today. I hope you guys like that. And when I think someone asked, where do you get Iris Duos? Iris Duos are sold by Potomac Bead Company. Um, I kind of got distracted there and didn't answer the question. And I think they're available in other stores too. Um, but they were originally, I think the original creators, designers were was the Potomac Bead Company. And so this color is the Labrador color. And this is the... Um, the fire polish is the Capri Blue, is the four, the four millimeter fire polish. And I don't remember the color of the Toho's, but it's uh, number 176B. All right, I'm glad, I hope, yep, 
thanks guys for watching and um, please share the video if you think anybody would find it helpful or just fun to watch. So, and I will see you tomorrow, same time, 9 p.m. for another live video and have a good night.